Hey guys, it's time to take a look at the new Pixel launcher here for Android devices. Of course, this is uh, this got leaked a couple of days ago, so I managed to install it on my OnePlus 3, which is my main phone uh, at the moment. So I'll be doing a video about uh, this phone, you know, my experience and everything. So let's take a look here at the Pixel launcher. And it was previously called as Nexus launcher, but now it's, uh, they, they named it Pixel because the new uh, devices that are coming uh, from Google, of course, will be called as Pixel. They completely dropped the Nexus name. So uh, you can see here that uh, it uh, looks really cool. First of all, uh, this is the home screen, obviously uh, very, very cool, simple look here. Uh, you can uh, swipe up like this to access the app drawer. So you got all your applications. You can scroll like this. It's of course having uh, vertical scrolling. So I'm just going to lower down the brightness a little bit. So um, yeah, it's uh, having vertical scrolling, of course, and uh, all your most used applications, they will appear uh, on top here so and the rest of the application down here are you know sorted alphabetically so you can see Adobe Android and then uh, start with B then C then D uh, so um, the, the best thing that I've liked here with this one is that it shows all my most used application or or I should say recently opened application on top uh, here on this area so this is uh, pretty nice I don't have to you know scroll and find that particular application that I want to open so it just they just appear here uh, and if we take a look here at the home screen scrolling is pretty nice pretty smooth you can hold down it will give you three options uh, for the settings uh, widgets and also wallpapers so if you go into the settings you got three options here app suggestion which you can turn off Okay, uh, once you turn it off, you're not going to be seeing the uh, the applications, okay, that I was talking about before, the uh, the recently opened applications that the, the uh, Pixel Launcher will suggest. So you're not going to see that. Instead, you can just go ahead and search or you can turn that on. Of course, it's very convenient, so I'm just going to do it with my Pixel Launcher here. Another prominent thing you can see on the home screen is actually the Google uh, now integration so on the t on the left area you can see that and also you got uh, the um, the day month of course the date stuff on the right side so and when I press on it nothing happens if I press on this one of course it's going to show me the Google now uh, search thing you know of course I can quickly search and this is how the folders look like it's a pretty nice circle icon and uh, you can notice that now we have like a little bit more applications in the dock area compared to um, the let's say the normal Nexus we Nexus UI we have so um, now we have four uh, five applications actually so you can drag them and you can put them back in here and uh, when you are dragging the uh, application you got two options of course remove an app info for the default applications and for third-party application you'll get three options so you on, on the top you can see you got remove um, application info as well as uh, to uninstall the applications right away. The cool thing that I noticed is with the wallpaper so um, uh, of course this is going to show you some of your on-device wallpaper and you can go into your gallery but other than that you have earth, landscape and some other cool things uh, like for example if I go into life it's going to show me all uh, the wallpaper so I have to turn on this daily wallpaper thing and uh, what this will do is that it will automatically change the wallpaper every day to give me a fresh new look of my phone so I don't have to download wallpapers every single day you know I use Zedge application uh, for, I've been using it for some time but I think this is definitely kind of a replacement for that because I don't uh, have to download wallpapers anymore it just downloads uh, on its own uh, every day so it's pretty nice and it looks really cool when you scroll you can see uh, you get a full view of that so yeah definitely Google uh, or I should say Google Pixel Launcher yeah Google Pixel Launcher it's pretty nice uh, you can get it the link will be down below in the description box so it's a leaked application you can just download it and to install it you have to go into the settings of course uh, by settings I mean the main settings and you have to go in uh, to the security section where you can turn on the unknown sources uh, this is the option here that you have to turn on in order to install the applications from places other than the Play Store and uh, yeah of course uh, another thing that I missed here is the widget uh, nothing new I could uh, I should say here you can just uh, uh, hold on to a widget and then you can drop it on the uh, on the home screen and it will it will give you the option of course it will ask for the uh, permissions you just have to uh, do the um, allow it 
to do that and then you'll see all your widgets on the home screen so that's pretty simple and uh, you can also drag and remove that certain widget uh, from the home screen if you don't like it so yeah this is the pixel launcher uh, of course it will be on board with the with the upcoming pixel devices but if you want to taste it uh, you can download it on your device link will be down below in the description box so i'm enjoying it on my uh, on my oneplus 3 and it is it has been working absolutely fine i installed it on my um, I installed it previously when it was called as Nexus Launcher on my Huawei P9 Plus. I faced some issues, but it is working absolutely fine on my OnePlus 3. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think about it. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.